it's Carrie with Seed to Spoon. So I'm out here in our garden and I thought I would plant some lettuce today. I actually went to go plant it the other day and I could not find any. I could not believe that we ran out of lettuce seeds. So I searched high and low. I had a hard time finding it, but luckily I found some at our local seed store and I was like a kid in a candy shop. I got so excited of all the different varieties. So I'm very excited. I'm gonna plant two different types today in this um, smart, pa um, smart Pot Big Bag Bed Junior, which is a 50 gallon Smart Pot. Um, so I'm gonna plant a lettuce salad bowl and then a salad bowl red lettuce in this one. We love planting in these Smart Pots. They work amazing, especially for greens in the spring and fall. These work great, especially these um, Big Bag Bed Junior. They work amazing and we love them. Um, but we've had them for many years. Um, as you can see in the background, you can probably see all of the smart pots that we have around us. We have a lot of different sizes. And we actually sell them in our store now too. So we sell them, um, check it out at store.seedtospoon.net. We have all different sizes, so check that out. So we love to grow our own lettuce. First of all, it's amazing to just come outside and out of the front door and come out here and harvest your own lettuce and grocery shop in your front yard. I love that. Um, but it's amazing too because we eat a lot of salads and things that we put lettuce into and we have a hard time trusting a lot of lettuce because of so many recalls. Um, I mean, I feel like every other day I hear of a different lettuce recall. So lettuce is one of the things that I love growing in our backyard because I can feel safe with eating it and I don't have to worry about what contaminants or anything like that and we have it all safe and good in our backyard. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant this using square foot gardening. So with um, square foot gardening, I always use a seeding square. It just makes it so much easier to visualize and to know exactly where the seeds should go. And especially with something like lettuce, which is 16 per square. So it just makes it a lot easier to visualize. So whenever I have something that's 16 per square, I just go through and I can make a little hole in each of these red notches here. And then these are the areas that I'm gonna go through and put the seeds into when I plant it. So I'm just gonna go through each place that I made a hole. I'm gonna drop just a couple seeds in there. If I can, these are super small seeds. So it can be hard, but if I need to, I'll go through and thin them down later. I would much rather have too many plants there than not enough. So I'll come out and check these here in a little bit. And I'm, I mean, within like a few days to a week, see if I need to come through and thin them down. Okay, so since I have both red and green, oh hey, that sounds like Christmas. There's Christmas colors in this one. That's awesome. I just realized that. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna do red, red, and then green, green. So I have like a little checkered pattern. So it'll be fun. So we've had years where we've even been able to keep harvesting lettuce all the way like through Thanksgiving, maybe even Christmas. <laughs> um, even especially if we cover them and put like some sort of um, PVC pipe dome over it, um, throw some shade cloth or something like that just to keep them warm whenever it gets really cold. And uh, if we can protect them, we might have them all the way through Christmas. So they might really be our Christmas lettuce. Sorry, not shade cloth but like the, pl the plastic sheeting okay so now that i've got all of them planted in here i'm just going to go through and gently cover the seeds and then i'm just going to water them in so now that we've planted them hopefully here within a week or two we'll have some seeds sprouting and we'll have little baby lettuce plants and then within about a month or so we should be able to start harvesting some of it so because I planted seeds, I want to make sure that I label it. So I remember where I planted them. So I'm just gonna label the lettuce and I'm going to put that in the middle here. I just use these popsicle sticks and write with Sharpies um, and then pop that in there. There you go. So now I know, remember what I planted. So thank you so much for watching and hanging out with us today. If you haven't already, make sure that you check out our free From Seed to Spoon app. It's available for download in the iOS and Android stores. It'll walk you through growing over 100 different fruits, vegetables, herbs, and it'll talk all about lettuce and when you should plant and how you should plant and what you should plant next to it. And 
um, what pests you have to watch for. I mean, all of that, I could keep going, but it'll help you with growing everything all the way from seed to spoon. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you.